John here guys and today I'm talking about the TBS Source One. Check this out. This is the amazing innovation in FPV that allows you to get a name brand open source, hence the Source One name, frame for a budget price without having to resort to shopping overseas from the cloners. Now, the overseas shops are an important part of FPV in general. They do sell a lot of legit and good goods, but they also sell many clones and frames are the most rampant example of this. So with the Source One, I really love the packaging. Everything is separated nicely for you and it comes with this blueprint style looking card that tells you getting into in, getting into FPV. And that's who this is for guys. This is for beginners who want a frame with a name brand, buy into that Team Black Sheep ecosystem um, for a budget price. They basically said, look. The day couldn't have come at a worse time, man. I was flat broke. Why put out a premium price frame when you know they're just gonna clone it unless you get a crazy design? And even if you get a crazy design, like Armitan or Catalyst Machine Works, they'll clone it anyway. Um, why not just get something simple, easy to put together and charge a price even cheaper than them? Do you know what nemesis means? A righteous infliction of retribution manifested by an appropriate agent. Personified in this case by an audible cunt. Me. And hence, this is what this is called. This is a outstanding option. Whatever your thoughts about Trappy and Team Black Sheep, whether you love them, whether you hate them, you cannot dispute that this was an incredible innovation in our hobby to allow people to get up in the air, not support the cloners, and get an awesome product at the same time. This is a freestyle frame that has individual arms. So if you break one of these arms, you can replace it. It is a very beefy and stiff five mils all the way around. It has uh, a long, but not too long. Like this is not original FPV length, you know, like an alien. It is a little bit shorter, which is perfectly sized for modern day components. Plenty of room for your ESC and flight controller stack in the middle, or the arms are also wide enough. Many freestylers still prefer individual ESCs. These arms are perfect for that. Um, golly, what else can I say? It has a mid plate in the middle reminiscent of those alien designs that allows your arms to be sandwiched in between the bottom plate and this mid plate to prevent any arm wiggle. There are two screws per motor, or I'm, I'm sorry, per arm that go in there. Then you have a series of eight standoffs. Now these are the cheaper um, straight standoffs. They're not the knurled kind, but that probably doesn't make any difference. They're probably just as strong because with this nice battery pad because you're gonna be mounting your battery on top. It is set back just a little bit because you may have an action camera such as a GoPro Session or Run Cam 5 at the front, which I'll probably be testing with this. Uh, has plenty of nice motor protection at the end of the arms and there is a plethora of free open source 3D printable designs and I am printing a GoPro Session holder for this as we speak. In addition to that, I'm gonna print some arm guards. I'm gonna print an SMA antenna holder for the rear. Um, looking forward to this one. And this is gonna give me an opportunity to build an all around budget build. I'm gonna see just how cheap I can get a premium, well, maybe not premium, but reliable and solid component um, five inch frame. I'm gonna use some budget motors. I'm gonna use a budget stack. I'm gonna use a budget BTX and a budget camera, budget all the way around, but I think in the year 2019, you'll be surprised at just how well this thing can fly on modern day Betaflight 
modern day ESC protocols, modern day motors. It has all improved so much that even your absolute budget quad of 2019 is going to rival the performance and flyability and smoothness of your premium quads as recent as two years ago. So, I like this thing a lot. Let's look at some close-ups and stay tuned very soon for a full budget build with this thing. Like I said, let's see how cheap we can get it and let's do some awesome freestyle action. Because of the low price of this thing all around, I am gonna feel very confident to do some you know, outstanding maneuvers and tricks that I normally wouldn't wanna do on a more expensive build. And let's see if that extra confidence will allow me to push my freestyle limits and finally do some of those crazy tricks that I see all of those other freestylers do. Let's see if I can finally with confidence fly over concrete and not worry about the devastating consequences of smashing a hundred plus dollar frame, hundred plus dollar motors, no. We're doing this on the cheap. Thanks guys.